Hey everybody, Gay here. What's up, bitches? I'm recording Gay today off my freaking iPhone because stupid iMovie won't let the, the sound be in sync and I look like a Japanese movie. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, am I it's making me crazy. And I'm so freaking funny the first time. Okay, so what are we going to talk about? Um, it's an exciting week here in Los Angeles. What I thought was the gayest day of the year would be Barbara Streisand's birthday. Turns out it's actually it's this Sunday, June 10th, when it's Los Angeles Gay Pride this weekend, and Sunday is the Gay Pride Parade. Not only is it the Gay Pride Parade June 10th, but it marks the 90th birthday of Judy Garland, the leader of our people. The godmother of the gays, Judy Garland's birthday is on Gay Pride Sunday. And not only is it Gay Pride Sunday and Judy's birthday, the Tony Awards are on. On Sunday night. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like I'm gonna explode into a rainbow of unicorns. It's so gay and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Sunday. I, I, I oh my god. Oh my god. And I'm so excited that I thought in honor of Judy Garland I thought I'd watch The Wizard of Oz last night which is one of my favorite movies of all time. I remember when I was a kid I get so excited. I'd get the TV guide, and I would look through the TV guide and have the, like the whole page. TV guide never used to be this big. It used to be like a tiny little thing. And, um, oh, The Wizard of Oz was on. Oh my God, the anticipation of watching The Wizard of Oz was too much for me. I would hold my little eight, my little cassette player up to the television to record the soundtrack so I could learn the words. I know every word in The Wizard of Oz because I'm that gay. I, 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 it's self, I must be channeling Judy because I've been catching myself sitting like Judy Garland as of late. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. I don't know. It's just the gay in me. It's just the gay in me. But I have a question for you all. Oh, I don't want to look at Kathy Lee Gifford. I want to watch The View. I love The View. Um, I'm watching The Wizard of Oz. I, I question the scarecrow. He's not my favorite character. He's not my favorite. We all know my favorite character is the witch. I love, uh, not Glinda. Not Glinda. I love um, Elphaba, to say the least. She's awesome. Oh my god. I'll get you, my pretty. Oh my god. I love her. Um, the Scarecrow. I question him. Well, he says life would be a ding dairy if he only had a brain. What the hell's a ding dairy What's a ding dairy I don't know. I know what a dairy air is. I know what a dingleberry is. I worked with some back in the day. <laughs> Okay, so here's my real question of the day. I've been pondering, I've been pondering, I've been pondering people, why people swear and we use, um, like, the words God and Jesus Christ in the swearing. That they're considered curse words, or they're bad words to say. So, like, I'm a gaytheist. I do not believe in God, I don't believe in the devil, I don't believe in heaven, I don't believe in hell, I don't believe in any of that. Sorry, it is what it is, you can't change, I believe in Santa Claus. I believe in the Tooth Fairy. I believe in the Easter Bunny. Those are fun things. I don't believe in this God. I don't believe in the Bible. I'm none of it. I'm a total atheist. So, but I find myself kind of hypocritical when I go, Oh my God! Because I don't believe, I don't have a God. Well, you know, maybe George Clooney. He's kind of like a God to me. Um, but people swear like this. They go, Jesus! They go, Jesus H. Christ. What exactly is the H? Who put that in there? There's no H in his name. Um, Jesus Christ. We say, Christ's sakes. Oh my God, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Why do we pull the whole family into the swear? Into the cursing when we're mad about something. Why the whole family? Holy Mary, Mother of God. Why? Why? Why is that thrown in there? Oh dear Lord, God Almighty, Lord Almighty. We tell people to go to hell when we use the Lord's name. Oh my God, go to hell. Really, why don't we go Lucifer instead of going Jesus? Satan! Oh my God! Beezlebub! Hades! Devil! Why don't we do that? We don't do that! We never tell people to go to heaven. Go to heaven! It seems to me that's where you'd want to be sent to if you're going to, you know, be cursed and damned by God. <laughs> right? Right? Think about the movie The Exorcist. I, you know, that scared the hell out of me, actually. That's a scary-ass movie. Um, but you know, uh, with the devil who always wants to possess us, God never possesses anybody, and when we do, we, they come in the forms of Jerry Falwell, and weirdos who just want money. Ugh. Craziness is ensuing in my head. So really, if someone tell me, why do we go use God and Jesus 
in the swear word and not Satan and Devil and Lucifer and Beezlebub. Huh? I, I like saying Beezlebub. Beetlejuice! 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 So that's what I got for gay today. Judy Garland would have been 90 on Sunday. God rest her soul, I love her. <sighs> Gay's out. Okay. That's on. There we go. I'll stand behind you. I'll stand behind you. Thank you for everybody watching at home on Mikey's blog. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching today. Good God.